Hi, Dr. Jeff Lehrman, podiatrist. want to talk today about diabetic foot care and most importantly, things that diabetics can do to prevent bad things from happening to their feet. So you may have heard that people with diabetes are at risk to develop ulcers that don't heal and infection and amputation. The thing that's important to know is that most of the time these bad things can be prevented. People with diabetes can develop circulation problems where the blood doesn't flow to their feet the way it is supposed to and diabetics can develop nerve problems where their nerves don't function the way they are supposed to leading to numbness on the bottoms of the feet. And finally diabetics may not be able to fight infection as well and that's what leads to these bad things happening. But again what we want to talk about is how you can prevent these things from happening. We have studies that tell us that diabetics who keep their sugar well controlled and in that normal range have a lower risk of foot problems than diabetics whose sugar is poorly controlled. So if you're eating the right things and taking your medication and keeping your sugar in the range that's recommended by your doctor, your risk of foot problems is much lower than if your sugar is poorly controlled. The other thing that we recommend is that you never walk barefoot, even in your own home should have something on your feet to protect them all the time around the house, at a pool, at a beach. Something that we see too often is somebody with diabetes comes in the hospital with an infection in their foot and we don't know why and we take an x-ray and we see something stuck in the bottom of their foot like an insulin needle or a staple that was in the carpet at home. And the lesson is if that person had been wearing something on their feet, even a bedroom slipper or some type of house shoe, that staple or insulin needle would be in their shoe instead of in the bottom of their foot and an amputation could have been prevented that easily. We also recommend that diabetics check their feet every night. Just take a quick look at the bottom of your feet and I'll demonstrate. All we're talking about doing is just swing around and look at the bottom of your foot. And what you're looking for is any cuts, any scrapes, anything open or bleeding. And if you see anything like that, that's reason to have it checked by a foot doctor right away. It can turn into a problem very quickly in a diabetic. If you have difficulty swinging around the way I just did, some people ask somebody else to look for them. Or you can even just use a mirror leaned up against the wall and you can hold your foot up and look at the bottom of your foot. Lastly, we recommend to most diabetics that they not attempt to cut their own toenails. Something we see too often is diabetics or somebody in their family attempts to cut their toenails and makes a mistake and cuts the skin and that little cut in the skin can serve as an entry point for infection that can lead to problems. So instead we recommend that people with diabetes come to see a podiatrist and most people we suggest that they come every two months and every time they come in we check their circulation, check their skin, check their nerve function and we cut their nails for them. And we have studies that tell us that diabetics who come to the foot doctor every two months have a lower rate of amputation than diabetics who do not. There's also a study that showed if every diabetic in the country came for a visit to a podiatrist before diabetic foot complications set in, it would save the United States healthcare system $3.5 billion. So that's saving a lot of limbs and preventing amputation and preventing complications and improving the quality of life for these diabetics. So in review, if you have diabetes, you can oftentimes prevent these bad things from happening to your feet by keeping your sugar well controlled, doing nightly foot checks, never walking barefoot, and coming for a visit to a podiatrist.